Tonight, fatal findings. A new report from the El Paso County Coroner's Office reveals disturbing trends behind our area's preventable death rates. Here on News Channel 13 investigative reporter Lauren Barnes is live outside the County Coroner's Office to break down the changes we saw between 2019 and 2020. Lauren. Several drugs are becoming deadlier across southern Colorado. Heather, and today I spoke one on one with the county coroner about what's behind this spike and others and what we can do to stop it. For a man who deals in death daily, even the El Paso County coroner, Dr. Leon Kelly, is a bit taken aback by his latest fatal findings. The total number of all drug related deaths in the county jumping 43 percent from 2019 to 2020, up to 186 lives lost last year. Many categories are up. But drugs had an extraordinary, um, the largest increase I've ever seen since I've certainly been here. Dr. Kelly has worked in the coroner's office since 2008. He expected the increase with the emergence of fentanyl, Cardio exposing the dangers in fentanyl, a Colorado crisis earlier this month. But other drugs are also becoming deadlier. Meth leads with 91 deaths in 2020, up from 66 in 2019. Cocaine jumped from 20 to 30 in a year, and heroin claimed 43 lives in 2020 compared to 35 the year before. Yeah, there's no simple solution to a problem like this. Um, you know, obviously there's a law enforcement component, but as every, you know, doctor and detective will tell you, um, we can't arrest our way out of uh, a drug crisis. A statewide problem that a 10 minute Zoom call certainly cannot solve, but an urgent issue, no doubt. Now would be the time <laughs> that we need to invest to our fullest ability and getting folks clean. Two other categories jump out to Dr. Kelly, though thankfully they haven't increased as dramatically as those drug deaths. Youth suicide and homicides, especially domestic violence, also make Kelly's list of concerning killers. I'm the Colorado State expert on strangulation, so I testify all over the state on, on non-fatal strangulation cases, domestic violence, that kind of thing, and it is truly the unspoken epidemic. And after several years of improvement, youth suicide rates are climbing once again here in El Paso County, up 40% in just one year. You can find resources on youth suicide prevention on this story on KRDO.com. Live tonight, Lauren Barnes for 13 Investigates.